you fuck. And again! Oh, fuck this game. It's just very weird. What the hell? Nice. How the hell that you didn't kill him, I don't know. And also, the, the three uses are not... Oh god, unlimited. That's great. Fuck's sake. You know, I was trying to roll away, but I couldn't. Because I rolled into the other anarchist, and it fucked me over. So I'm at 58 health. Hooray! Oswin's at 80. He should be at... He should remain at 80, because I'll go on to his card next. So, fingers crossed. Do men they give you their, sp their spoils? Why would you give them 10 gold? I don't get it. One equipment, from two. Mask of Holy Fortunes are the cry of victory. Draining Rebirth. When skeletons reanimate, they drain life from enemies around them. Once a failure. Wait. One failure card glows red during the shuffle. Enchant. Ooh. I need 12 fame. Fuck. What's the cry of victory? You and your companions deal 200%. Oh, okay. Powerful combat item with limited number of uses. Shite. I didn't realize it's, a, it's an artifact. No, I'd rather go with the helmet. Not the mask. With holy fortune. Nothing like and food. Carrying an aura of purity unearned to give the game away. Right, he's in trouble again. Oh, wait, really? You find Oswin surrounded by bandits swinging his pitchfork, pitchfork wildly and threatening to use their tailbones to till the farm. All right. Oh, right, the thieves that kidnapped... I should have kept the fucking... the ring. Whatever. Yeah, the thieves that kidnapped him were probably the ones he bought the sack of vegetables off. Or off of. Yeah, it's what I'd guess. Very interesting. Alright. We're against a fucking ton of them, though. Ah, here we are. Okay. Shit. Fuck's sake. Fuck, I'm not paying attention. No. Shit. Oh god, this is the worst. Because Oswin is quite literally fucking useless. And he's gonna get burned. Fuck's sake. Great! Oh man, he might not even survive this! What a lot of shite. Fuck. Yeah, I thought I could kill him. Oh, never mind. I don't even know where Oswin is. He has literally no health. He's like down to 40. Which is fucking bad. I don't have that much food either. I should be able to get some food from this encounter though. Fingers crossed. I think he gets... It seems like he gets kidnapped once per map. Oh, he's at 56. Food. That works. Food. Thank you. Fame alone has got you here. Let action carry you forward. That's interesting. But sure, I don't get it. You know, also, yeah, keep a close eye on him. Surely you think he won't be kidnapped again. Burning building. <laughs> Have Oswin go in. Brave the fire. I'm not a vain man. You must appreciate that the game, this game, has been my focus for more years than I can count. Yep. I I've have a done. Pride regarding its twists Shit. and turns. I can't retry these either. Shoot. Oh. Okay. A wise decision. Now it spins really fucking fast. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Wait, so how many counters are where? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. 
Perfect. I actually managed to do a burning building. Once in the corner of the room you find the woman's husband, you put his arm over your shoulder and quickly make your way out of the inferno. You emerge, the woman and the children rush to the man's side and embrace him. Thank you, adventurer, you have saved my family from certain death, the woman says. I got the token! Yeah! Fucking finally. While our possessions have been destroyed and we will never be able to repay you, know that we will speak of your deeds here today as long for as long as you shall live. Nice. Good shit. Oh! Run into Oswin's goblin uncle, he beckons you over to a tree stump. As you approach, he places two items side by side on the stump. Pick the bomb, pick the bottle. Wait, one will make your enemies your friend, the other is poison. Which will you drink? Quickly, quickly, choose. There is a bomb and a bottle marked poison. Bomb. Ooh, traitor's urge. traitors in their hearts. Mm. If you know men, you know betrayal. Goblin watches expectantly until you feign drinking the bomb. Satisfied with the proceedings, the old goblin gives you a little wave and climbs up a nearby tree. A band of skeletons emerge from the thicket. Why? Oh god, hold of skeletons. I'm gonna re-equip. Oh god, can I? Yeah, cool. No. There. Because it's holy and this will kill probably them. Four of those. Fucking hell, you ready your weapons? So the horde of skeletons is basically skeletons that wield swords and shields. I uh, should probably go for those first. Yeah, because the horde of skeleton is us horde of skeletons are probably going to be more of a pain to deal with. Most probably. Oh man, this one does seem easy by comparison because there's only one. There's only a golden ticket, and all you have to do is ensure that he survives. However, it's still a pain. Oh fuck! I pressed the wrong button. No. I fucking- oh, I fucked it, I fucked it, I fucked it. I pressed A instead of the right fucking bumper. I'm an idiot. Yep, no, he's getting hurt again. It's fine, it's fine. Hey, go on, Oswin, you're not that useless. So skeletons don't stay dead forever. God damn it, really? There, we got him. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, I would have actually done that much better had I pressed the right fucking button. Idiot. Yeah, I realised as soon as I pressed the A button, I realised, oh fuck, that quite literally wasted what I was gonna do. Because once you pressed RB, if you press A instead of RB again, instead of throwing it, um, you just roll and it counts as a use. It doesn't take away the counter, but it does have a cooldown, which sucks. When you continue your journey wondering how you'll next encounter Oswin's goblin uncle. Why does he have a goblin uncle anyway? I've said my piece on gnomes. Borrow, borrow. The company you kept to get you here is strange indeed. Ah, oh, fuck's sake, really? That's why I no longer I no longer have my good axe. So this says as you trundle along in your horse-drawn carriage, you catch a glimpse of some cheeky gnomes fleeing with your weapon. You chase them on foot until they dive into a burrow, you take a peek into their hidey hole and discover they have quite a cache of weapons in their lair. You reach your arm in the hole. Oh god. Oh! Oh right, we get Winter's Bane. You got the first thing you lay your finger on, the little round door slams shut as you draw the weapon from their burrow. Well, I don't have the axe, but I do have this. Instead. He has been kidnapped. Fuck my life! Okay, so one of them gets highlighted red. I'm too busy focusing on the failure. I was gonna go with that one! No! Fuck's sake. Right, he's been kidnapped. Where is he now? He's far away. Unless, does he only take damage from every new encounter? Oh fuck no, it's every turn. Oh, that's awful. Was always Fucking Christ, man, that's awful. Seems more trouble than you might expect, however. Put a false potato in his mouth. Oops. Oh god, look at me. Place a potato in Oswin's mouth, his jaw snaps shut, you remove your fingers just in time. Barely acknowledging you, Oswin begins to frankly rent frantically search the area with a cry of relief he leaks behind a tree. You help the weary farmer to his feet. What the hell? Yeah, let's um, let's camp. Stop and see what Oswin has to say, perhaps. Mhm. Mm 
Heal Oswin. Oh, wow. Sell equipment. I was about to say, I'm curious what I can sell. The Mask of Holy Fortunes. Traitor's Urge. Right, I have ten. Money now. So I could buy some food. Oh man, really? Oh, you suck. Yeah, yeah, I got one food. God, cook food. Uh, God, it only heals him by five, though. Right, break camp. But, uh, he's really eating us out of stuff. You arrive at Sleepy Inn, known to locals as the Dainty Fox. Please say this is the last area. Looks like it could be. Oswin disappears briefly and returns to his with his, a potato haste pasty hasty. You watch him take a bite with gusto. He said, "Oi!" A growl echoes across the inn. A hulk in northerner grabs your companion by the arm. That was my pasty little man. Not oh, great. The potato farmer looks up at his furious assailant, then down to the crisp warm pastry. To your exasperation, he appears to be considering eating it anyway. Attack the northerner and his friends. You draw your weapon and the northerners respond in kind. As they rush towards you, you see Oswin hastily shove the rest of the pastry into his mouth. Oh my god, he's obsessed. He's a pain in the ass too. In fucking deed. My god. Where are they? Oh god, hello. Hell yeah! No! In hell. Jesus, he's gonna take so much damage! Oh yay! They're fucking northerners and the worst. Is he frozen? Nice. Fuck. Please, die already. Oh, okay. They went after him again. God damn it. I really don't like having Oswin as a companion. He fucking sucks. He's so bad, and everything targets him. And they just- they fuck him up. But he could be- he could die way faster, but thankfully he doesn't. Please tell me they gave me food. I need food. Unless I come across the old maiden, which I think I should, because there's a lot of com um, things left. We're in a north northern northerners limp away, muttering threats as they go. Oh, really? That was all? Fuck's sake. Making Dealing with Eves. With the guild. I can only think this will end poorly for both of us. Ooh. Oh God. Fuck knows. Ah, oh, good. The dealer would add your selected gain cards to the deck. Oh, wow. Can I gain all of these? Choose a card to add to the deck. 20 food is way more important. Oh my god. I can take two. Okay. The rest of the guild shows a little interest in getting involved with your mis misadventures. He got kidnapped. Wait, what? Where is... Okay. It said they added it to my deck, right? I'm confused. Here you will always find fair exchange. Trade food for equipment. Look the many possible uses this Oh wait, no, trade have. equipment for food. Many will not be so fair in your travels. Trading houses the cap in the capital is well known for its fair barter exchanges. People from around the world gather here to trade their wares. Welcome adventurer, do you have something to trade? That's the strapping young merchant. Trade th one piece for two food gain cards. I will trade you my Mask of Holy Fortunes. Are you sure you wish to trade these items away? Yes. Food gain. Look for you, a butcher just came past with a fresh slaughter of sheep. I hope you have a good appetite. 20. Give me 20. Oh, fuck. Well, that's still quite a lot, so that's fine. Um... Trade a quit. I'll trade for more food. Trade one more. Actually, no, because I don't think that will be the case. Leave. I don't know how I'd get the token, but I'm fine. He will 
will keep getting right, he's himself in more in, in more trouble. Seems. Oh, along by the northerners from the dirty fox, as you as you near you ever hear him expounding his passion for potatoes to his captors. Try to defuse the situation. You rush forward with your weapon sheathed. Great. Fuck it! Your terrible rendition of an ancient northerner folk song offends everybody, even Oswin looks disgusted. Great! <laughs> so we have to go against two trappers and four northerners. Alright. That's not too bad. Still sucks. Like, I'd rather not have to do that, but whatever. It happens. I suppose. It all depends on how many of them want to go for him. Oh fuck, there's three trappers! Why is he here? Oh fuck. No, 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 no. Where the fuck's Oswin? Oh, he keeps getting hit by the trapper stuff. It seems, anyway. Fuck. Oh my god, I killed him. Ah. Alright, okay. Dealing with the trappers is fine. I think. Okay, come on. Oh, there we go. Donezo! Fuck. Well, I got- I broke free. All's good. In the end. Sweet. Hot diggity damn. That was... A pen. I was so sure that Oswin was gonna die. For certain. He's very- he's really low on health. Like, really badly low. 43 health. Search bodies. Equipment. Ooh, we got pious robes. Hmm. Do I want to equip them, though? Hmm. No. 15 gold. Good. I can buy food. Nice, I can buy more food. Yeah, let's camp. Screw it. Food for sale has refreshed. Food. I can buy three food. I can buy another food. Yeah! Sell equipment. Pious rope. I might as well equip those then. Yeah. And then, finish trading. No heal Oswin. I mean, we heal him whenever we move, but still. Heal. 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 Now we're gonna take two more. It's two food every fucking time. Oh, there we go. As for supplies. Walking through a shady forest, you encounter a frail old maiden. She stops to greet you. For centuries, I have helped the mortals who find themselves lost in my forest. Is there anything that may help you with your journey? Supplies. This should sustain you for a few days. Five food. And... Oh, I got one. You got kidnapped again! Oh, Oswin, you are the worst fucking guy. Fuck knows. Yeah, whatever. whatever. Am I surprised? No. Oh, he's so far away! He's such a bellend. I fucking hate Oswin. Just trying to get to it is the worst. The game Dark alleys. Often offers you a choice. Sometimes they are both poor choices, however. We're roaming the dark alleyways of the capital, you see a suspicious group travelling in your direction. Steel muskets. Terror of Blight. They are dragging a locked chest behind them, its contents unknown. In another direction, you spy an item glinting in the moonlight. Ooh. Oh, it's like, which do I go? However, you notice a number of shadowy forms lurking in the alley nearby. Which do you go? Move toward the visible enemies with the locked chest. You approach the men with the chest, they drop their cargo and draw their blade, saying, Slanis said no witnesses. What am I using? Oh yeah, witness, witness thing. Yeah, that's fine. It's not an axe, but it'll do. It's steel musket, guys, so I can deflect their bullets. And the Terror of Blight, which is a pushover anyway, so we'll be good. 
I really do not like the lovers. The challenge is pretty good, I just hate the fact Oswin is constantly kidnapped. It's such a pain in the ass. Yeah, that's like all- that's why I hate it. Because you're stuck with this guy that's quite literally fucking useless. And you have lit like no choice of the matter. It just sucks. Oh wait. No, go away. Let's deal with this guy real quick lack. There we go. And boom. Oh yeah. The oh, fuck? That was weird. And I win. That's why I say the Terror of Blight's just a pushover now. Because it is. You hit it three times, it attacks back. You hit it three times, it attacks back. And then you eventually smash it, it gets stuck, and you execute it. The, custo the custodian's defeated, you break open the lock chest. We got 15 gold! Hey! You notice a secret compartment in the bottom of the chest. Fuck. Really? Hey! Nice! You find some equipment hidden in the secret compartment. Chieftain's Axe! I got it back! Hey! Thank you very much. Sweet. An awfully large number of undead seem to wish to delay you. Oswin has clearly made some unusual choices. Uh, pour water on him. Oh. Oh, fuck. Thirteen, you god. There's no chance in hell that this is gonna get fifteen. I got fourteen. I got so close. Oh, shit! Okay, false a potato in his mouth. Oh, no. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. Ah, go. Well done. You continue to impress. Fucking hell. I do not like how little health he has. Not at all. Oh, there's no food. Fuck. Well, I could sell this. Yeah. Don't need it. I have my chieftain's axe. Finish. Fuck's sake. Oh, there we go. Final reunion. Nope. How fitting and how sweet. He got kidnapped. Oh my god, he's the f I fucking hate this. Ha! Huh. Somehow. We have to fight them here and now. No, the f the sheer um, I don't know what the word is, but the amount of times he's got kidnapped in this area alone is fucking crazy. He's literally been kidnapped every few fucking steps, which is retarded. And I wish it weren't so, but it is. Right, let's try this again. Boom! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That was awesome. Instantly over in just one bomb. Oh dear. I really want to not lose food. Yeah. Oh yay. Food. 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 Please. It's gold. It's not food. Alright, so that's the lovers. Exploding doodads. Again. Give him one of my artifacts. An artifact, if you will. No thanks. General Star. Hey, I can buy food. Be a good time to buy some food. Thanks. You don't say. There's ten. I will just buy nine. That's fine. Oh, twenty remaining, meaning twenty food remains. Oh, that makes sense. I did wonder, like, what? What does it mean? Like twenty? Like twenty cards remain, or what? But yeah, that makes a lot of sense. This is actually the quicker way of healing Oswin. It seriously is. 92, 97, 100! Yay, we got it. True love transcends life. True revenge also. With a shout of relief, Oswin announces that Nightshade Cops is just over the hill. Continue f uh, continue forth. Go forth to Nightshade Cops. 
The village looks abandoned. The sky darkens. In the town square stands a beautiful woman, her skin grey and mottled. Mottled. You feel a sudden chill in the air. The woman's voice grates and hisses as if long unused. Dearest Oswin, you have come for me. Entrenched, the potato farmer takes a step. You grab his shoulder, breaking his spell. The woman squints in your direction. Oswin, who is this? Your companion looks to you, still in a daze. You notice that somehow he's clutching a potato. Oswin grips the potato in both hands. He looks back at his lover in defiance. This is my friend. A heartbroken screech wenches... Uh, wrenches from the woman and she doubles over in pain. Horrified, you watch as her face twists and hollows and her limbs lengthen until you before until before you stands a shade, swirling with fury. Oh god, that's a lot of skeletons. Shade. The ghostly figure lifts her arms and she begins to rise into the air. Grey! Why do we have to fight this with Oswin? Well, it could just be like, you dude, stand back. I'll do this. But never mind. One thing I know that the shades can do is drain your life, life, which is the pain. Or well, can be a pain. Oswin's lover is a wraith. Wraiths can drain life with an unavoidable spell. Attack them quickly to stop the effect. Ooh. Go for that. Oh god. I think it only drains two at a time, though, which is fine. Oh god, there's more of them. Oh, they keep on coming, I think. That was a waste. Oh, what the fuck? She ain't that powerful. Which I'm all for. Oh, she disappeared. Fuck. That was really simple. For a boss, that was so easy. Oh god, she exploded. Yay! There we go, we did it. I did not like that one. Not particularly. It's a good challenge, I just don't like the amount of times Oswin gets kidnapped. Like, the volume for that just goes up and up and up and up and up as we get further into this, which sucks. Oswin kneels over the body of the wraith and begins to weep. As a soft rain falls on the village square, you, you quietly leave this ma the man to his grief. What about the sword? Oh, I probably get it from the token. The tale of love concludes with that, as they ever do. The saving Oswin, the potato farmer, fetid fens, exploding doodads, goblin retainer, road to goblin town. Whoa, we got holy purification. Uh, yeah, purification traitor's urge, bloodletting vial. That's the poison. Dark thirst and blinding brew. For your benevolence in battle, your supplies have been added to healing spirits. Oh yeah, and I got the burning building encounter as well. You have unlocked these encounters. Bitter winter. Alright. I love this game. This game is quite literally ten times better than the first Hand of Fate because it's so, it's vastly different. It's like each of these challenges could be their own game. Well, no, each of these challenges are basically their own game. I got a gold on it. Woo! Hallelujah. I think I'm actually going to call it the end of the session though, because we're near an hour and a half and ending it in the middle of a challenge I just don't want to do. I want to have challenges started and finished in a session, not started, got halfway through, quit. Because that's just, I don't like how that works. By the way, we have not unlocked any new ones. I think we unlock new ones probably once we've done the chariot and, the, and strength. Because I know there are two companions tied to those. But anyway. That is going to be the end of this session. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, take care.